I just hit another bomb. I just took another $1,000 account to a $25,000 account. Yes, $1,000 account to a $25,000 account in Forex trading. This is seemingly impossible and totally crazy. You might even ask a question like, is this even real? Is this even possible? Yes, I've done this a couple of times. You can see on this screenshot, this was another screenshot I took a trade from $1,000 to $22,000 account. This one, it wasn't only on for, uh, currency pairs, on indices, I also took this account from almost about $4,000 to about $50,000. On this particular video, you don't need to panic, you don't need to feel intimidated. I'm gonna break down the trade to a beginner level and make it very beginner friendly in a way that any person can be able to understand what is going on. So stay to the end of the video so that you can be able to understand how you can do it step by step on your own account. This is not magic, all right? These are strategies I created by myself and they are very beginner friendly. Before we get into the video, the only thing I want you guys to do is to smash the like button on the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel for more crazy trades like this. As you can see on my phone, that is a live account and I'm talking about live trades. So these are live trades that I'm actually showing you guys and I've done this a couple of times. And don't worry, this might seem a little bit intimidating, but at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the risk, management, the risk and the money management rules on this particular strategy. So before getting to a $25,000 account or getting to a $25,000 balance, from a $1,000 account, there are risk management steps that I follow. There are money management steps which I follow along the way. All right, good. So like I said, I'm gonna be breaking down this entire trade. I'm gonna be breaking down everything for you guys to see what is going on. And we're gonna be closing all these trades together because I took these trades about four days ago. The trade has actually been open for almost about 72 hours, but we're gonna be closing it now because my target that I wanted it to hit has already, the trade is almost getting to my target. So we're gonna be closing everything together at the end of the video. So if we can come here on my computer, you can see the balance here is $1,500. I started with $1,000, but along the way, I closed some trade just because I wanted my equity to be a little bit up, all right? Because I always like my equity to stand between $1,000 to $1,500. So you can see my balance here is $1,500. And what is my equity? My equity here is on $25,400. And you can see that is a live account. This profile here, I call it Petrix Pro because I'm actually using uh, my robot, which is Petrix Pro on this trade. But you can do it manually, all right? Good. So let me close this. After showing you guys the trading terminal let's go back to the actual trade to actually see what is going on good let me put my robotic trading on because we're going to be closing all this trade but before we close the trade i'm going to do a rundown of exactly what we did perfect guys you can you can see what is going on on my screen just look at my screen and you'll see can you see all these tick lines you are seeing here all these tick lines you are seeing all these these are trades these are different different trades and if we can see here on Petrix pro trading terminal let's see the total number of trades we've opened we've opened a total of 2126 trade <laughs> 2126 trade we have uh, the lot size of 21 up and running so we have 21 lot size because in each trade we are using 0 0.01 we are using the least loss size on all these trades. And you can see total profit or loss. We've made a total of almost about uh, 200, almost about 25,000 pips. That is almost about, I can't even read it. This is in terms of points. Almost about 25,000, yeah, 250,000 pips on this particular trade. And the profit, you can see our balance slash equity. We started with $1,500 and we are standing down on $26,000. You can see what is our profit? almost about $25,000 and the spread here is six. You can see manual controls. Everything here is just the parameters of the robot. But this is what I want you guys to see. We have a total of 2,126 trades up and running. If you can do this manually, this, the strategy behind this particular video is the stagging strategy. I have already taught you guys the stagging strategy. So if you want to watch the video about the stagging strategy, click the link above to watch that particular video. But if you can open 2,126 trades manually, then what will do the same thing for you is Petrix Pro. So I'm going to be explaining going forward in line with Petrix Pro. 
or in line with the robot but you can do this manually because i have already taught you guys how you can do it manually so after seeing this particular terminal and the total number of trades we've opened we're going to be going into the robot very soon to show you guys other parameters which have been able to manage the money the rigs and everything involved on this particular trade so let's do now the trade breakdown how you would have done the same thing if you were the one and how you would have gotten the same profit if you were the one good since we already have the, the robot on this particular chart i want us to open a new usd because you can see that the currency pair we are using here is euro usd so i want us to open another new euro usd uh, chart to explain everything from square one so let's just close this and go here euro usd should be somewhere this is euro usd let me go to chart window i want to explain it as if we're taking it from square one right so let's max let me just make this small then i can maximize it let's change the profile i already have my profile saved best profile and then all these lines you are seeing all these lines all these lines these are different different trade remember we have 2160 something trade up so these are all trades but now i want us to remove all those trades so that we can i can show you so let me go to trade levels trade levels boom all the trades are removed so on this particular strategy which is, which is the stagging strategy the process is very simple i look for the overall market trend on the bigger time frame and i execute my trade on the smaller time frame so i look for the overall market trend and where the market might be heading on the daily time frame or the four hour time frame then i step down to the uh, 15 minute time frame or the five minute time frame or occasionally on the one minute time frame to execute my trade because this strategy is candlestick dependent candlestick dependent in the sense that if I put the robot on the five minute, on the one hour time frame or on the daily time frame, I'm only going to be getting a signal after every day. So I'm only going to be opening one trade after every day. You see, if I put it on the four hour time frame or if you are using the strategy manually on the four hour time frame, you're only get, going to get a signal to either buy or sell after four hours. I don't want to stay for that long. That's why I'm stepping down. When I, when I, I, I do my analysis and I look for the market direction, the overall, the macro market direction and the bigger time frame, I step down to the lower time frame like the five minute time frame the 15 minute time frame or the one minute time frame to execute my trade if i'm taking the five minute time frame like this particular chart for example it means after every five minute candle i'm either going to make a decision to buy sell or stay out of the market so i'm going to be getting signals or i'm going to be making a decision to get a signal after every five minutes just looking at the chart of euro usd you guys can already see this market has been on a downtrend this is the daily time frame because I, I want to be able to look for the overall market direction on the daily time frame then we go down to the lower time frame like the five minutes to execute our trade if we can look on this particular chart this chart has been on an overall downtrend since the beginning of this year since january 2022 and we are still on a downtrend let me prove to you guys let me show you guys without using any indicator that we are still on a downtrend you can see if i can just plot out my resistance here and plot out my support here you can see very very clearly this market is on a downtrend so the market is bouncing on lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and anytime the market is printing on lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs that is a clear downtrend even if you have to bring in a moving average or any trending tool or indicator you're still going to be able to confirm this market is on a lower or is on a down trend good before we took our trade let me bring in the trade level for you guys to see something trade levels you can see we started selling somewhere here because all these trades are set trade all the 2000 trades are set trade we started selling somewhere here and let me show you guys the reason why i started selling at this particular level let me remove the trade uh, levels again if i can come at this particular level you can see before we took this particular trade i was just waiting for the market to test this particular resistance again you can see very very clearly as soon as the market got back to that particular resistance boom it started going down so when we were here i remember i even posted a screenshot on instagram or, I, or also on uh, youtube shot and i told you guys the, i was just waiting for the market to test this particular resistance and i'll be able to sell from that particular resistance and see exactly that as soon as that happened 
I took my sell trade. So I did my analysis on the overall time frame. I saw that if the market gets to this particular resistance, there is a since from the beginning of this year, since from January, the market has been respecting that same resistance. Last, I think almost about two months, when the market got here, I brought in my robot and I still saw. The market got here, I still saw. The market got here, I saw. The market got here, I saw. So this particular move again, because this was an impulse and a correction. And because in the market, you always see an impulse and a correction an impulse and a correction so here we had our impulse right here this was the impulse we had after having this particular impulse i was waiting for this particular correction and as soon as we had this particular correction now we are using now we are going in for another impulse that is what that is why i got into the trade at this particular level in time so that is on the higher time frame i already knew that there's a high probability that the market will be bouncing on this particular uh, resistance i already knew that there's a high probability that the sellers will be coming into the market at this particular level now how did i get into the trade I got my signal now on the one hour time frame. If I have to, let's go back to the daily time frame and just put like a small box, right? Let's put like a small box somewhere here because that is where we got into the trade. Let me show you guys now. As soon as we got there, we're just looking for any reversal signal. On the one hour time frame, you can see this is the same the, the same box I put on the daily time frame, this is the same box somewhere here. So if I can just minimize this box a little bit so that we can see what is going on. You can see we had this reversal, this, this uh, pullback, this kangaroo tail or this reversal candlestick pattern. That was already telling us that the market is reversing. After this reversal candlestick pattern, this particular one here, we still had this bullish, this bearish, we still had this particular bearish engulfing candle confirming to us that the sellers are in control what happened i started selling somewhere here good so i already made a decision that okay i'm going to start selling at this particular level at this particular point in the market then i stepped down to the five minute time frame and i brought in my robot at this particular level if i have to bring in the trade levels you can see boom that is the same level we started selling immediately after this bearish engulfing candle we started selling all this trade we started selling and you can see what happened the market has been falling ever since and that is why we've taken a one thousand dollar account to almost about twenty five thousand dollars this is not magic good now since we thought i've already shown you guys the entries on the one hour time frame let's go down to the five minute time frame where we're actually going to be taking our trade you can see here on the five minute time frame this these are all the trades on the five minute time frame i have to zoom in so that you guys can see very very clearly then let me even reduce the size of the candles so that you guys can see let me reduce the size of the candles because they are too too remember on the five minute candles on the five minute time frame the candles are going to be too too many can you guys see this this is where we started buying or oh, this is where we started selling on the five minute time frame and you can see from there to the where the current the current market price now is somewhere here and we are already down with 298 pips my target was 300 pips on this trade my target was 300 pips so we are already down with 298 pips that is why i'm recording this video so that we can close all the trades together can you guys see this good so let me remove the trade levels and i'll be able to show you guys again very very clearly if i can come here let me remove trade history uh let me just zoom out a little bit let's zoom out this good 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 let's let's go back trade let's put on auto scroll then we zoom right back i want to go right back to where we started good let me make this a little bit big okay good this is where we started selling you can see the same this same level good let me just zoom out this is where we started selling all right that is where we started selling this was our entry this was our entry somewhere here and we started selling somewhere here good let me explain the the parameters now to you at the, at the close of every, because we already made a decision that we we're going to be selling, right? So at the close of every bearish candle or every red candle, we're going to be taking a trade. At the close of every red candle, we're going to be taking a trade. And anytime we have a bullish or a green candle or a, a bullish or a, a blue candle, we're not going to take a trade again. So the market, the, the robot or the, this particular strategy already understands that in the market, 
When you press a buy or a sell, the market or the trade doesn't just go like a slingshot and hit your take profit. The market breathes out and breathes in. Breathes out and breathes in. So anytime the market breathes out, which is known as an impulse, the robot O, you will be able to open many trades. And as soon as the market is breathing in, which is a correction, you won't do anything. You wait for the buyers or the sellers to come into control again if you are talking about a buy or sell trade and you start opening many trades. As easy as that. So you see, I just... Keep, I just kept opening trades. After every red candle, I open another sell trade. After every red candle, I open another sell trade. And anytime I have uh, bullish or uh, uh, blue candles, I won't do anything again. I'll just wait until red candles start printing again. I just keep doing that and going down. Just keep doing that and going down until I get to my particular level, which I already anticipated on the higher time frame. Remember, I already have a key level on the higher time frame where I want to reach before I'm opening the trade on the lower time frame. So I'll just keep doing this and going until I reach at that particular level. And trust me, when you keep doing it, before you leave from your support or from your resistance to your support if you're selling, or from your support to your resistance if you're buying, you must have already 10x or 20x your account. There is no, there is, there is no doubt about that. All these trades you are seeing, all these trades, the same strategy, the same thing, all right? That is why I have a robot that will be able to do everything because this is manually impossible sometimes for you to do all of this. A robot now will be able to come in and do everything for you and open all the trades for you and manage the risks, manage the money, manage the side, everything in place, the robot will be able to, have, uh, to handle it. Good, so after explaining that to you guys, let me go now on the parameter section of the robot and I will show you guys some key parameters for you guys to understand, all right? If I go here and I go under properties, let me go here under properties and show you guys something. Let me just wait for it to load. Good, under properties, remember I already explained on the lower time frame that after every five minute candle, if the candle is red, we're gonna be opening a set trade. There is something I call now trades per signal. So meaning after every red candle, I can decide to open five trades. I can de decide to open four trades or three trades or two trades. It just depends on my risk appetite. It just depends on my risk tolerance, you understand? So in my case, most of the time, I used to use my trade per signal to be five. Meaning at the close of every red candle on the five minute time frame, I'll open five trades. I'll just, my lot size will be there, 0 0.01. I just open, pam, pam, pam. I just click on say, one, two, three, four, five. I just open five trades. But in our case, remember the robot is one just opening it automatically. At the close of every red candle again, the robot will just open again five trades. Pam, 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 five trades. Just keep doing that and going. Whether I'm sleeping or I'm playing soccer or I'm traveling, the robot is doing that known stop you can see the lot size is there the robot is having risk management parameter if the spread is because you remember during news or during fundamentals the spread used to be crazily high the robot has that filter in place the robot has a news filter a, a, a slippage filter and everything meaning if the spread is at any point in time greater than four pips this robot won't open any trade that is to prevent your account from blowing out all right so all these there are more than 250 different parameters here but those are just the key parameters which i wanted to show you guys you can put a take profit you can put a required balance ratio to close you can see here my required balance ratio to close is what is on 25 Meaning, if I have a $1,000 account, I'm already telling the, the robot that as soon as the trade or as soon as uh, my equity gets to 25 times my original balance, I want the robot to automatically close all the trade. That is why you can see now we're on $25,000. And if the trade start getting to about $26,000, $27,000, the robot will automatically close everything. So there are more than... 200 different parameters here that we won't be talking about. We're not talking about the parameters of the robot today. So that is just what you do for this particular strategy. Do Even if you are doing it manually, you see we started the trade when the number of trade was 2,120 something. You can see here now we have a total of 2,131 trades. Why? Because as we were explaining, if I can go here and let's go back to that particular chart. As we were explaining, I'm sure we've had a, a, a bearish candle. All right, let's go back to the end. Let's go back to the end. Can you see? I'm sure we've had a bearish candle. So this particular bearish candle, one, two, three, this bearish candle has been able to open a couple of other trades. You can see what is happening here. But on the year we have what? We have a bullish candle. Meaning anytime we have another red candle, the robot will automatically open five different trades because my trades per signal, I'm using five. So anytime, a particular red candle is printed again, the robot automatically open five trade. Anytime, so you can see here we are having something like a correction. Anytime the impulsive moves or the sellers come into the market again, the robot will start selling again and going. The robot will start selling and going. The robot will start selling and going. 
That is it, guys. That is the, the, the that is just the basic behind this particular strategy. Why I told you guys it is very, very beginner friendly. So make sure you watch the starting strategy to be able to do the same thing. Now I already told you guys we're going to be closing all this trade because this money is never your money. You never boast about money which is not yet in your bank account. This is never your money until it is in your bank account. So we're going to close this and we're going to withdraw and reset the entire account back to $2,000 or back to $1,000. All right. Okay, good. Let's go back now to the trading terminal. On this particular trading terminal uh, of Petrex Pro, uh, you can see we have the buy button, the sell button, the close all button or the pause button. I can even pause the robot from opening another trade. So now, since we already have the close all button incorporated into, into this particular robot, I would just be clicking here to close all the trade. If this particular button was, wasn't incorporated into the robot, I would have brought in this one I call the Godlove Auto Closer. So since we already have the close all button here, we're just going to be smashing the close all button. Then we're going back to the trading terminal and you guys will watch how this particular robot will just automatically close all the trade. If you can normally close 231 trades on your own, then you can do it on your own. Own. but that is humanly impossible that is why even on the robot again we have the close all button and see what the robot is saying money doesn't need noise i am busy printing money the robot is just doing what, exactly what it's saying the robot is busy printing money even as we are saying so we're going to be clicking on the close all button to close all these trades and get out with our money so let's put the trading terminal on uh let me just go here click on close all Good. I have the close all. I just click on close all, guys. So let's pull up the trading terminal so that we can see. Can you see? All the trades are closing. All the trades are closing. All the trades are closing. That is it. All the trades are closing. One minute, 37 seconds later. So as you can see on my screen, the robot is doing its magic. I would have been closing this automatically one by one, one by one, but it's going to take me forever to close 2,131 trades. But the robot is doing everything. You can see here, my balance now is on $7,500 and my equity is on around $25,000. So let's just wait. High should be in about two minutes. The robot is going to close everything within about two minutes. Two minute max. A few minutes later. Okay, guys, it's been two minutes. The robot started closing all the 2,131 trades. And, and as you can see on my screen, our balance here is on almost about $21,000. And our equity is in about $26,000. So, high in about, in about 30 seconds, all these trades will be closed. So, I want you guys to have the fun to see how this thing is happening. High should be in about 30 seconds. All the trades should be closed. All the trades should be closed. So, on the, under our equity... Oh, the trades, the floating profit. Under our floating profit, we just have about $3,300. So the robot just have to close all this $3,300 so that we can go away with our $25,000. As you can see here, our equity on is on almost about $25,500. So high should be in about 30 seconds. All the trades will be closed. You guys can see it's human error. All the human errors are eliminated. I'm not doing anything. The robot is closing all the trade. My balance here is on $23,000. My equity on $25,200. And you can see that's the same thing on my phone. The same trades on my phone. Can you see, guys? So we are almost done. We are almost done. We are almost done. That's the same thing on my phone. The same trades are wiping out on my phone. This is so, so interesting, guys. Seeing your profits, seeing money just dropping into your bank account. That's crazy. That's the power of Forex. You can see we're almost done, guys. On my phone, see the same thing on my phone. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so all these five trades, these are the five trades which the robot just recently opened now. So we have to manually close these five trades because the robot just recently opened these five trades now before we could uh, assign the, the order for them to be. So we need to just manually close these five as easy as that. So let's close this, this, this. Remember our trades per signal is five. And by the time we already put the auto close, the robot opened five other trades. That's why we, we have that particular error. Now we need to go here and remove the robot, all right? So this is what you need to do. You need to go here, remove the robot. Then you go down, 
Uh, you can see our balance. What is our balance again? $25,299. That is it. All the trades are closed. But now, if I don't go under my VPS and turn off my robot, this robot is going to keep opening trades. I don't want that to happen. So you immediately just come here. You go under your VPS. You can see all these red lines represent all those trades. Can you see? All the trades are closed. But I don't want the robot to keep opening other trades. So I go under my VPS and I go under my grid because I already removed the robot. I've removed the robot already from the chart. So you first of all remove the robot from the chart and you go on your VPS and you click on migrate two times. All right, migrate two times so that it can migrate the current settings. If I go back here on Euro USD, you see the robot is already gone and I've also migrated to be able to upload the recent settings that tell the VPS that the robot is already off from the VPS. So that is that guys, a $1,000 account to a $25,000 account. I've shown you guys the trade breakdown live on a live account and how you can be able to do the same. You can see on my phone, that is the same thing on my phone and I'm just showing you guys this so that you can be able to do the same thing. You can practice this on your demo account guys. You can practice the same thing on your demo account to see if you can be able to have the same result. Good. I promise to give you guys the risk disclaimer or the risk management of Petrex Pro or the risk management of this particular strategy. All right. So under the risk management of this particular strategy, I have already accepted the fact that this is a very risky strategy. But the, risky, the, strategy, the riskier the strategy, the more profitable that particular strategy is from my experience, all right? That's why they say it is more risky not to take risks. So risks, no risks, no reward. I can give you 10,000 quotes on risks and reward, but this is just to tell you the riskier the strategy, the more profitable that particular strategy is. Since I already know that this strategy is very risky, how am I able to manage my risks? I have already accepted that particular point and I know that my strategy has a risk to reward of about 1 is to 15 to 1 is to 20. You won't hear this in forex trading anywhere. This is totally crazy. But yes, I have been able to formulate a strategy that has a risk to reward of 1 is to 15 to 1 is to 20. Meaning out of 10 trades, out of 10 trades which I take, I'm just looking for one winner. Just one winner. And no matter how cursed I am, how unlucky I am out of 10 trades, no matter what I do, I'll have at least one winner, all right? Let me give you guys an example on this particular trade. Before I hit this particular runner, which gave me almost about $25,000, I've had a series of seven losers. Seven rules. I was already going out of my mind, but I was like, okay, you need to stick to your strategy rules. I already have a series of seven losers. And what do I do? I have a separate account for each strategy. And for this strategy alone, I have a separate account for this particular strategy. So now, if I come into my trading week and I'm like, okay, this week I'm going to be risking $10,000 on this particular strategy. What do I do? I divide that $10,000 into 10. So now I'm only going to be risking $1,000 on one trade. If you have a $1,000 account, you can divide that $1,000 account into 10. All right. So you're going to be risking only $100 in one trade. So for me, I divided my $1,000 account into 10 different trades. So I was only risking $1,000 per account. So my account balance at any point in time will be $1,000. So I deposited $1,000 into that particular account. I took the first trade, I think that was Great Britain Pound USD. And last week, remember, Great Britain Pound USD went on all time low. So that fluctuation took me out of the first trade. I took another trade on KJPY, it took me out of the first trade. Then I took another one on Go, it took me out. Remember, each trade, I'm saying it took me out of that trade, I lost $1,000. So I lost seven trades on the row. That's $7,000 which I've lost. But no beginner will still be in the trade at that point in time. That's when experience comes in, and that is where trading psychology comes in. All right. I went in. I keep. I. I. I, I was still stick to my strategy, to my trading rule. I knew that. Okay. Out of ten trades, I'm looking for just one trade. And there you go. My number. My, my number eight trades. What happened? I do did my analysis on Euro USD. It was perfect, and boom. It took my $1,000 account to a $25,000 account. So how much have I lost? I've lost a total of $7,000 and I've gained a total of $25,000. If I remove the $7,000 which I've lost, I'm still up with plus $18,000. Even though many people, many times, if you come to my office, you must have seen me blowing this account, blowing the $1,000 account, blowing the one, but at the end of the day, I'm still a millionaire. At the end of the day, I'm still making money. Why? 
That is trading psychology. That is the mind of a trader. That is how you are able to wrap your psychology or form a trading psychology behind any trading plan. For my strategy, I already know the risk to reward. I already know no matter what strategy you have, you have losers. But how big are your winners? All right. I always tell you guys this. How big are your winners? So that is just what I do. I've already now I have $25,000 on this particular account. As you guys can see, that's a balance on $25,000. I'm just going to withdraw $23,000 or $24,000 and leave just $1,000 and start again and start taking more trade. My target now is to risk again $10,000 on that particular, on this particular set. All right. I'll take again the first trade. If it doesn't go my way, I'll come the next day again, do my analysis, take another one. If it doesn't go my way, I'll come the next day, do my analysis. Remember, I'm doing my analysis on a daily time frame. So that's why sometimes my trades can even stay off for four days, for five days, for three days, all right? Because I do my analysis on the daily time frame, and by the time the market is hitting my particular target of about 300 pips away, or 250 pips, or 350 pips, I must have already 10x my account or 20x my account. If I can show you guys the example, on Euro USD, which I we just did earlier, you can see on the daily time frame. Let me go to that particular chart again so that you guys can see this. This is the daily time frame, right? And if I can zoom in everything, let me zoom out and go right to the end. Good. Let me zoom out again. Good. If I can just zoom out this, can you see this? This is where we got into the trade somewhere here. We got into the trade here, and the candles have been dropping ever since. For how many pips? Let's measure. 298 pips all right and that is how many candles one two three four four days four candles meaning for four days so i already know how my strategy operates the risk management behind my strategy how long i plan to stay on that trade and how i plan to manage my risk so that is how you can manage the risk behind any particular strategy whether it is a risky strategy or a less risky strategy thank you guys so much for watching if you want to be able to use petrex pro because this is humanly impossible for you guys to, to do this, right? For you guys to open 2,131 trades. But the robot will be able to do everything. That's why I first of all taught you guys the strategy behind the robot. Then the robot will be able to handle the risk management, money management, everything. It doesn't matter if you don't have a risk tolerance like me, or if you are not a risky trader like me, then even on the particular robot, there are parameters that will allow you to be able to put your stop losses, to be able to target, to have smaller targets. You don't, you don't, mustn't have to trade the same way I'm trading. But the robot I've designed in such a way that you can use it to trade. You can use smaller target, smaller lot sizes. You can use stop losses. You can use global. You can. There are, a lot, there are more than 250 parameters on that robot that you can fine tune it to fit your style of trading. So if you want to be able to use Patrix Pro. Check on the video description to be able to get Petrex Pro. And as soon as you purchase Petrex Pro, it comes with a series of almost about 15 videos that will teach you step by step on how to make the most out of Petrex Pro. So check out the link below to be able to get Petrex Pro and start doing the same thing today. Thank you guys so much. If you've gotten some value so far, make sure you smash the like button on the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, smash the subscribe button. You can click here to watch the video I made on the stagging strategy. Click here to also watch another video I made on the robotic trading. Click here to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on these other videos.